Jurassic World Dominion officially released in theaters, which means it's time for me to give you my ranking of all six Jurassic World movies. But before I do that, please take a moment to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell, and comment down below. What is your ranking of all six Jurassic World slash Park movies? I want to know all of your opinions on all of those and more. And with that said, let's get into this ranking. Coming in last place is Jurassic Park The Lost World. And this is one that the only reason it's in last place is because I this is the one that I least remember. Now I remember enjoying this one. I enjoy all these movies. Here's something you need to know is that there's not a single one of these movies that I'm going to give a negative opinion on. This is a lot of fun. There's a lot of fun dinosaur action. Dinosaurs eat, eat, eat people. It's still a whole lot of fun. And that ending where the T-Rex is in San Diego, it is a whole blast. It's something that I really wish they made an entire movie about. But just in that little, I'd say it was about 10 minute sequence, it was still a lot of fun in there. Thing is, I barely remember this one. I remember there's a bunch of tense sequences that really work. Thing is, I just barely remember this one. This is the one that I've seen the least. I don't really remember much about it. And so... I would definitely have to rewatch this one, but you know, even like looking at clips for this review, I know that there is a bunch of tense sequences and that this movie really probably really worked the first time I watched it. I think it just deserves a big rewatch, but that's the reason why it's in last place is because it's the one I know the least about. Then we got Jurassic Park 3. Now this one I have fairly fond memories about. I was sick. And they were doing a marathon on it on the USA channel on DirecTV. And so I just sat there and I watched this movie like four different times. Not all in order, but I just watched it four different times. Now this one is a pretty basic and simple movie. It's nothing like a bunch of the other ones. Like even The Lost World it was kind of like... It had a big climax. This one is just people running from dinosaurs. It's the most simple since the first one. There's no big backstory. There's no big genetically engineered dinosaur. It's just people running from dinosaurs, and that can be a lot of fun. And I really just respect this movie for it. At times, it feels like a direct-to-video movie. It feels like something that you would just watch because it is just fun escapism. It's nothing big special. It's nothing that I absolutely love. I just know that there's a bunch of fun sequences in this movie and it's just a it's kind of just like a classic Jurassic Park you're just sitting there you see people getting eaten that's what you want with this franchise and this movie just really works like that for me if I had to go any negatives I would say that's kind of <clears throat> if you're thinking of you want more for the finale to the park franchise it's not really going to do that but I just I always found this one to be a bunch of fun. It's always just been so basic, and I really respect this movie for that. And then we got Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Now, I personally don't really understand all the hate that comes towards this movie. I think it's a really fun movie. It has the emotional beats when the dinosaurs die. It has the nice thrills. It even has the great finale. I don't... It's not like... When you think about it, it's not like... There's... The new Jurassic World movie could make fans mad because of the way they treat the original characters. I can understand that, but this movie, this movie's not like that. This movie is just a continuation of the first one, and I think it really works. A lot of people say that there's similarities to The Lost World, which I could definitely see them, but this movie is just a whole lot of fun. The big finale is really nice. It's a nice touch. There's a bunch of fun dinosaur action here, and again... There's not anything that will make me say that I hate this movie because this movie is a lot of fun seeing dinosaurs on an island eat people when and there's emotional beats when they all die on the island that it really just works for me. There is there's just a bunch of stuff. Now I do have one big problem with this movie and that's that the thing about the clone girl feels really off and it just feels really off in this franchise. I never necessarily liked that as a whole and in this movie, it's just kind of just off-putting, and it just doesn't work at all. But besides that problem, it's just another movie with even the icing on the cake with the emotions as the dinosaurs die. But there's some nice dinosaur action, and the finale here was really fun. Then we move on to Jurassic World Dominion, the newest one. I 
it's definitely not going to be number three when I rewatched it. But in the theater, I thought this film was just a lot of fun. Now, obviously, we could have had them all being in one world, in the big world, instead of one island, whatever. I didn't necessarily hate that, because if you have people running from dinosaurs, again, I am just going to love it. I really enjoyed watching all these characters run. The big standout for me was Ian Malcolm, and when, just when all the original cast members and then the cast members of this new trilogy were all together, that's... It made this movie be in its prime. It was a good movie before, but it made this movie in its prime. But when the original cast members weren't with the new ones, I didn't really feel like they stood out that much. But, again, them together, they did really great. The dinosaur action was pretty good. There was also some nice, intense moments. The one I constantly refer to is the one where Claire is under the water that we see in the trailer and that one dinosaur is after. That's a really awesome scene. Now, obviously, there is problems. The more I think about this one, the more I realize that, yeah, it's Jurassic World on one island. It's got so many. This is definitely probably the one that I think about that has the most writing problems. But I don't mind because I really just enjoyed watching this. The first act was Fast and Furious with dinosaurs, and it was all a lot of fun. And then just Again, people running from dinosaurs was still really entertaining, and it it was really fun, and I really just enjoyed sitting in the theater on a date watching this movie. It's definitely not the best of this franchise. It's only up here because I'm still on a hype on this movie, I'm fairly sure when I rewatch it, it's not going to be this high. But again, it was a really fun film. And then we move to number two, Jurassic World. This is... Also, a really nicely done film. It's a lot like the first movie, but this one has a little twist of where the dinosaur is genetically engineered. And I really like that twist. It really just makes it fun. Now, it also has bigger stakes because there's more people on the island. Whatever. But this is probably the one that if I want to watch a Jurassic World movie, this is definitely the one that I will go back to re-watch the most. I've seen it at least 20 times. It's still a lot of fun. All the dinosaur action is fun. Even a bunch of the scenes, is they're all very intense. And the finale with all the raptors and the Indominus Rex is still thrilling. I just really like this movie. It's got a more... It's more dangerous than the first one. Because of the more people. And it's not really simple. There's a bunch of lore about it. But that's a thing. They wrote this film to have a bunch of lore behind it. And it really worked. They really explained it all well. While also having the main core. Which is people running from dinosaurs. And I just think it really worked. There's Again, a bunch of dinosaur action. The Indominus Rex is a great dinosaur villain. Again, this is just my most rewatchable Jurassic World movie. I will always go back to this one. But easily in first place is going to be Jurassic Park. This is easily a classic, and I was so lucky to get to see this one in the theater. Now, when I rewatched it, I did realize that the beginning was a little boring. But my favorite thing about this movie is that it's so simple, yet it has such a complex plot, too. When I was just a kid watching this movie, I was like, yep, it's just dinosaurs eating people. That's basically the movie. But then when I was when I am now 16, I realize that this has such a complex plot. It's so complex while also being just simple. And it really works. The dinosaur action, obviously, really nice. Especially all the T-Rex scenes and the finale with the raptors. That's all really fun. It's all really intense, too. And again, getting to see it in the theater was really awesome. I definitely really love this movie. I think this movie is one of the greatest sci-fi movies of all time. Great dinosaur action, great CGI for, or animatronics, I think it's animatronics, for its time. It, this is just obviously a classic that it, that I just love watching this movie, all the dinosaur action, and that is why it's in first place. So please comment down below, what is your ranking of all six Jurassic Park slash world movies? I'm sorry that this video was so delayed because... I went to camp, and then I just didn't have time this week. But I finally had time to finish making this video. So, thank you for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell, and comment down below what is your ranking of all six Jurassic Park slash world movies. And with that said, make sure to subscribe to join the Nerd Army. Peace out.